This portion of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Take off with Shell this summer. Thanks so much for staying with us. The 31st annual Fox Hill Festival officially opened yesterday at the Fox Hill Park, where members of the planning committee, honorees, and dozens of Fox Hill residents and friends joined in the festivities. Chairman of the planning committee, Clinton Pierce, says this year the bar has been set high to back the 10-day festival with culture-centric and memorable activities for all of those in attendance. Earlier today, Pierce said a pop-up market in conjunction with BAIC opened with a green focus, along with the festival's inaugural night marathon. You will all be aware that the government is moving towards phasing out plastic and styrofoam products in order to preserve our environment. And the committee has taken the initiative to print for sale green bags. We're bridging the communities of Fox Hill and Gambia. And that race will start Sunday night at about 9 p.m. And they're gonna run from Gambia to Fox Hill. Hopefully they will arrive in Fox Hill just before John Canoe. The Member of Parliament for Fox Hill, Chanel Ferguson, added that the festival, which coincides with Emancipation Day, has always been a tradition in the community. And, as seasons change, she says Fox Hillians must continue to fuel the tradition of celebrating freedom. Doing Emancipation Day, the only game in town was in Fox Hill. And you did it so well. They say flattery is the most sincere form, or, or the most sincere compliment that you can get. So once people saw it, what it could do to bring a community together, other communities started having their own festivals. But Fox Hill, here's the challenge. You do it bigger and you do it better. 